It's always a good morning when she starts. Okay, so today we are, well, I am. We're all kind of working separate uh, today. So everybody's got some things to do. So I'm gonna start digging our detached garage foundation. You can see the strings. I broke the string over there, so. So we're gonna do a 40 by 40 detached garage right here. This piece of plywood will be a doorway that comes from the house, that's the end of the hallway, into there's gonna be a mud room right here. So slop sink, benches, stuff like that just for the kids. And that'll come out probably to maybe like the end of this hole. And then this little roof will extend past the mud room and attach to the garage. So you'll step out of the mud room onto the ground and then just walk into the garage. Kind of like a little breezeway connecting the house to the garage. So really all I'm gonna do is finish my strings and then mark it. I got some marking paint and then start digging. Um, I hope it goes quick. It's really, it just should be very easy because it's just a square with a line down the middle. So it should not be too hard. The only thing that makes it hard is working on the hill. So hopefully the digging is easy and hopefully it's just not too rough working on the hill. Okay, so here is the shape of the building. This is the front, the side, back, it's hard to see, in the grass, and the other side. And then we have this wall down the middle because this side is gonna be two garages, 20 by 20, and this back side is gonna be my father-in-law's house. So, moving him in with us, so we're gonna give him his own place. He has one garage, and we have one garage. Okay, all the strings are done, so now I'm gonna mark the paint. I'll mark the lines for the actual footings. So the strings, the strings are the actual, sh the size of the building. The footings will go a little bit here. They're bigger than the string, because this is the, the string is the block and the wall, you know, the, the, so the footing needs to go past on both sides. Okay, the strings are all done and rolled up. The paint is on the ground. All marked out, all ready to go. Now I'm gonna hop in Big Mama, she's waiting. Since we are digging on the hill, I'm gonna step this footing down so I have less block to do. So this is one level, so it drops down eight inches right here, and then it's gonna go flat, probably all the way to the back, because we still got two feet below the grade here. The frost line here in southern Missouri is like, is about, it's like 20 inches, two feet, because it doesn't get that cold. We might have a couple cold days, but, so I'm pretty much, because, once we do the block, then we also have to backfill. So this will probably be three feet under the ground by the time I'm done, which is actually plenty, more than enough. So on this side, I only had to step it down once. I might have to step it down in here. I'm not sure. I have to dig this little chunk out by hand real quick. Of course, the one spot, the, the two foot spot, the machine couldn't reach. There's a boulder. Oh God, I hate digging here. It's the worst place in the world to dig. Uh, um, okay, I'm gonna try to get the machine right here. Try to hit this on an angle. Okay, I was able to reach it. I gotta do a little tiny bit with the shovel, but I reached it, broke it all up. Now we'll 
we'll check it with a level and see where I gotta step it down next. I do actually have to step it down one more time. So I'll probably scoop all these rocks out with the machine and step it down right here. Okay, we got the side done. A couple step downs. Step down one more time for the back. And I started that side, and then I slipped in a hole here, so I'm trying to get, because we have that wall in the middle, I'm trying to get this half from that side and this half from this side. And I got my helper with me. Are you ready for this? Yeah? <laughs> you gonna help Daddy dig? Yeah! Okay. at all in the last corner this last corner right here there's giant crater okay today is concrete they're coming at like 12 one o'clock so we got a couple hours to finish the last little bit of everything but you can see our steps I'll show you from the back side now you can see our steps flat step up flat step up flat step up we stepped up along the back too because the hill goes up this way and this way Probably one of the most annoying things I've ever done was having to step up the foundation or the footings. And here's this side, four steps. We have all our rebar in. I didn't put the three quarter trap rock like we usually put because I have so many rocks from digging. We, we just threw a whole bunch of rock, bunch of stone in, tamped it. And that's good enough, same, basically same thing. Well, literally the same thing stone to stone and then here's the middle now we just have to finish a little mudroom area against the house right over here and then we wait hopefully we finish pretty quick I hate coming down to the wire on finishing stuff and then the concrete truck pulls up so I would like to finish early hopefully then it's nice to text them and say hey I'm ready so this is what this is one wall Here's the other wall, and then we still have to dig this. But I have to be careful, because this is our water line, so. We got this done, the mud room. We're just tying this rebar together, and now we're ready to pour. We just dug the piers also. One, two, three, four. And one concrete truck's on the way, so we're ready. And the concrete is down. It's all dry, I mean. Oh. This is our step downs. This was definitely not fun. We didn't get to, we didn't get to tape it. Okay, this is it. 